done, like, super fast. Super this fast. This is the best day, the best kind of day to set trestles. You think so, on the rain. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are back here on the homestead on a rainy day. It seems like every time we set trusses, it's raining. It hasn't rained in weeks, if not a couple of months, Seth. It's been a while. But today, it decides it's going to rain. But the trusses are here, man. Take back my life. It's time to go my own way. Across the I've been dreaming about it every day. I believe So what do you think? I think it's coming out good. Yeah. Seth's getting the bracing done there. Marty and I are working over here on actually setting the timber lot. It's gonna, we're going to be done, like, super fast. Super this fast. This is the best day, the best kind of day to set trust. You think so, on the rain, in the rain? Actually, it stopped raining now, pretty much. I'm getting wet. I don't know about you, but I'm getting wet. Seth's up here on Mr. Tall. Mr. Tall ladder. He also brought our porch trusses, but for now he's gonna just pick them up and then set them down in the yard somewhere <laughs> until we're ready to play. There we go, guys. The easy part is done. Trusses are set and we are ready to start blocking, putting in, I think it's called a rat run, that kind of stuff, getting them set perfectly, right? Two feet apart. And check out these bad boys. These right here are the trusses for the front porch. So they have a, a cutout right here. It'll set on a two by four, like a ledger board for it and then we'll attach it to the wall. These are the ends right here. We've got it, it's lowered down a bit. So we can put some pieces out for the overhang on each side. But uh, we'll pick those up with the tractor, set them on a pallet and uh, keep them nice until we're ready to start putting up the front porch up here. First, we wanna get this dried in before we work on the porch because the porch is not critical for keeping water out of the house. So we got a nice long, 16 foot two by four we had in the garage we're going to try to fish it through here we could come from the end but we really don't have a way to get up that high just to fish it straight through so i'm hoping that there's enough space in here to be able to kind of work it through we'll see we might have to go with some shorter ones if i could hold it if you get it all the way out like a little like a really long lever and then pull it back in safety sally says don't stand on top of a ladder you're getting there i'm getting there but it's awful it's awful heavy out there I don't think I'll be able to do it safely. All right, so we're just gonna have to go with shorter ones and overlap them. All right, we've got them basically all secured up here now, right? So that they're not just gonna fall over so we can get up here and do all the blocking that needs to be done. But let me show you here, just kind of how we've got it set up right now. We got a two by four coming to here, to here, to there. Another one there, going down, all the way down and it's tied into the house over there. So we've got them all set perfectly where they're supposed to be, two feet on center going across at the top. Now we can come through and do our bird blocking and then other blocking that needs to be done. All right, so my job right now is I'm cutting 
the bird blocking for um, putting up on our trusses. This is the pattern that we're using and we're just laying it on top of our other one, drilling holes and then putting the wire on top of that. So this is what our finished product looks like and then I'll hand it up to Marty and he is going to get it put in place. I'm always looking for that light in the shadow Always been wandering through darkness using this aluminum screen for our bird blocking it cuts really easily with this pair of scissors they are really sharp little corners on there though so I'm having to be careful it kind of gets stuck in my skin <laughs> hopefully this will keep out all those nasty stinky beetles that we have flying around right now man those things are nasty <laughs> Wow, it looks cool up here. Yeah, it does. <gasps> Coming out super good, man. So we also have a two by four that we're putting in. Yep. Not just those two by sixes. Yeah, it's weird on the other side, they were all leaning this way a little bit, like just a little tiny bit. So when you put the two by four in there, it fit perfectly. These ones are leaning this way. And so there's a little bit of extra space in there, but it'll all come together. Yeah, and it's getting so much tighter up here. Oh yeah, we'll be able to climb around all up in here here in just a minute. Like little monkeys. Long time it's taken me, but I figured out now to some degree. This life, it happens fast. I'll enjoy the time in this hourglass. Perfect. Yes, I will, will, will. Two by sixes always got three. They're supposed to, yeah. Three nails, three screws. Yep. Two by fours get two, two by sixes get three, two by eights get four, two by tens get five. But you're Still not like telling that. us what to do. Oh, no, no, no. You could put one in if you want. <laughs> nope. We wouldn't, just a wouldn't dream of telling you what to do. This is our recommendation. Yeah, it's just, <clears throat> just what they say. All right, we got all of the bird blocking done up there and over here, except for this one. Why didn't we do that one? I don't know, we gotta do that one still for some reason. Did you notice that? Yeah. I thought we were done with that one. No. Oh, well we gotta do that one first. You're the boss, I just follow your directions. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna do the blocking up here at the ridge after we get that. And you also see this right here. We attach the first truss, right? Right to the fascia, the old fascia. So we're gonna go ahead and trim that old fascia. That's a two by eight. So we'll trim it down so it matches this two by six. And that way when we put the soffit up there, it'll fit right all along there. Um, and there's some other reason, but I forget why. But just to make it all uniform. That's a really fancy word. We don't know about soffits yet. Well, we're going to learn about soffits. We haven't got that far in our construction. <laughs> I don't know that we're good enough for soffits. <laughs> How's that working for you? Good. <laughs> you can't like grab because the roof's right here. So this 
side's a little bit, a little bit trickier. You gotta get your sea legs. True. You're right. Well, supposed to be nailing this off with the Oh. I guess they're more like rafter legs. Rafter legs. Truss legs. Yeah. By the time we've got all this done, we'll be just like swinging from them. <laughs> You made it, then. Hi. Here's our favorite square. Thank you. This is a square we started with, huh? Yeah. That's like it's the best one. Keeps getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, but it even has good uses just like that. All broken. Right. And the rest of the two by fours we need. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Jules has just taken out this, um, these supports that we had in there temporarily. I think we bet our money's worth on those. I know. Is that the third time we've used them? I think the third time, yeah. I know you can leave them in there, but we just take them out because uh, they're reusable. And they make it super quick and easy when you're putting up the trusses just to hold them together temporarily so they don't fall over or something. Just one screw, they're perfectly spaced, right? Makes it easy. All right, man, we got all of the blocking up there. You can kind of see it right there. And over here on the other side. So this last truss here, we don't have the blocking on that yet. We got to, that'll be what the, the fascia attaches to. It'll stick out two feet past the front of the house right here. So we'll get to that when we get to that stage. Right now, we want to, um, there was a mistake here. So not a big deal, but... As you can see, that rafter tail comes all the way out to the edge of the fascia. We have a two foot overhang, but the two foot overhang includes an inch and a half fascia. So we've got to go ahead and cut an inch and a half off all of these rafter tails up here. And then we'll be able to put the fascia up there going down that way. And then we put the barge rafters, I think they might be called. Barge rafters that extend out. If you notice this right here. So you see how this truss it is five and a half inches lower than the truss behind it. That is so the barge rafters, they will attach to the second truss, extend over the first one, and they'll be like four foot, almost four foot blocking in between them. And so that way it's a lot more stable and sturdy rather than just screwing it up there and nailing it up there to that last truss. It actually overlaps. We got Jules out here painting the fascia. Yeah, it's sunny. That's right, it's finally warming up, huh? You're out of your jacket. I know. So those are all two by eights we're using for the um, fascia. And let's see what kind of paint we're using here. We're using a bare exterior satin enamel. Ultra pure white. <laughs> yeah, so she'll probably put two coats on those and then I will be able to put them up there painted. Way easier to do if you pre-paint the fascia. Because painting in between all those rafter tails is a pain, huh? Yeah, this is the best way to do it. Especially doing it on a warm day, not a cold day. That's right. <laughs> I learned that doesn't work very well. <laughs> Especially when it's raining. We had done some other stuff, some other painting and staining and stuff. In the middle of winter, we had to lay it all out inside. And do all, remember doing all that? Oh, that was for the stairs, uh -huh. huh? I did all the staining was done inside. Yeah. Because it was too cold outside. Sometimes we're inside out, twist, turn it upside down. You're the place where I call home. Some things we're never gonna learn, like which way the world's gonna turn. It's time to start putting up the fascia. It's a new day on the homestead also, guys. A fairly, slightly chilly day. But let's get the fascia up there. We'll show you how we do it with just two people. It's a two by eight. And uh, we're gonna use these boards here to help us be able to hold it up there really tight. So we take this two by four here and we're gonna screw it right on top of the truss. So this two by four right here acts as the OSB, right? That's gonna come out to the edge of the fascia. 
So when we slide the fascia up, then it will hit on here and hold it at the right distance down from the top. If you put it all the way up to the top, then your OSB comes down, it'll hit it right here and it won't actually overlap. And then you won't be able to nail down into the fascia from the OS for the OSB. Ready to get this first piece of fascia up there. Jules, which one you want to use? Well, I think that we might have to postpone this because they actually didn't dry overnight. What? All of them are wet. That is weird because we painted them at like what? Four? Yeah. Probably around four last, last afternoon or yesterday afternoon. But are they? They are. They are wet still. Huh. So new plan. <laughs> new plan. So we're not going to put up that first, the first, the east and the west fascia first. We're going to go ahead and put the barge rafters up and get that ready for the front. And then hopefully by the time we get that done, these things will all be dry. Look, the sun's already creeping. Yes. See? It is. It's working its way over. <laughs> True. All be right. The sun pretty soon. Ready to do that other part then? Yeah, let's do all it. All right. Dude, Marty, you totally need new boots. I know, man. Look at that. That's bad. Have you yeah. glued those before? Yeah. I should get some new boots like you. Yeah, I have. You got, Jules got some really cool new Ariat boots. I really love them. You should show them, dude, while I'm doing this. Show them my boots. Yeah, show them your boots, dude, because they're cool, man. Okay. Yeah, show them, dude. Marty's just trying to embarrass me. But no, I really love these boots. Um, I just got them. So take a look. So these are my new boots, you guys. They're area, they're waterproof. I love the soles. Sometimes I have to worry about slipping, but these so far haven't been slipping at all. I like how they lace up. They're super comfortable. And the toe, show them the toe. Show them the toe. And the toe, Marty says, look at the cool toe. What do it's, you want What do you want them to know about the toe? Well, it's just that it's really durable. Oh it's yeah. Like a, it's like a Smash weird- Smash-proof. Like, extra it's not just rubber it's like an extra durable something yeah and anyway they just seems like it's going to protect your toes if you drop something on them they're not steel toe but they're they're, they're extra durable. protection than a regular boot yep anyways i really do love them so we had a live stream last night and uh, we're going to try to do that every thursday night so if you kind of want to plan for that every thursday evening hopefully around six o'clock pacific standard time having a live stream but people were asking about mistakes and today is like super cloudy day. Not cloudy in the sky, but cloudy, brain cloudy. I have measured and cut. How many boards did I cut before I realized I cut them all wrong? I don't know, it was <laughs> quite a few though. I'm like, that doesn't sound right. I have, I was off by like four inches on six different boards or something. Thankfully, Marty hadn't put them in yet though. Yeah, but I did put, I measured wrong and then I told her the wrong number. I mean, I told her the number that I measured wrong anyway. We had to take it back apart. We've gotten these uh, barge rafters going out this side right here. Spacers in between. And anyway, the spacers in between is what I messed up on. And so <laughs> it's just a really cloudy, slow day today. We're getting it though. We're getting it. We're like halfway there yeah. with this part of the project. Yeah. And then by then, hopefully those boards will be dry and we can get them up. Right. We might need a break first though. <laughs> yes, maybe a lunch break. But anyway. Jules is going to be cutting here. We're still using this saw. Um, we've used this saw. We got this pretty much when we started, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. we used yeah. it for the floor joists in the house. In the beginning. Yeah. But now it's, it's this thing's kind of messed up. The roller part of it, it's like, a, I don't know. It's just, it's not super smooth. No, and you kind of have to keep adjusting the, uh, the, the blade to make sure it cuts square. Sometimes it gets off, but it's done a good job. Yeah, it's done a good job. <laughs> and it doesn't cost near as much as the ones that do a really good job. That's true. Let's cruise on out here and, ooh, looks good. Show you guys here. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, it looks really even. Yeah, well, hopefully they're all even. We got the peak up here. We've got, um, we got doubles here and doubles there. That's because we're gonna split this fascia on the front and that way we have extra space to, um, you know, to nail it in there. So there'll be a seam on the front of the fascia, but it'll be good because a 17 foot, six inch, two by eight is gonna be really heavy. So we got about two eight footers, two eight, an eight and a little bit more. We didn't rent a lift. 
Right. So we're going to try to do this with manpower. We might need manpower. to get Seth power here. <laughs> yeah. We're going to need your muscles. <laughs> I think these are dry? I hope so. Dry. Right. Cool. Cool. So after a brain break, we could come put the face out. Sweet. <laughs> Seth's getting our um, little support things here set up so that we can hold the fascia up, up against that there. All right. That should be a 912 pitch right there. Now 113 inches from here down this way. 113 and a half actually. 113 and a half. All right, so Jules is gonna hold it out on this side. Seth's gonna hold it up here. We're gonna line it up right where it goes. I'm gonna put a screw in it and then we'll come back and we'll nail it off. But we all need all of our hands, guys. So you're just gonna have to hang out for a little bit. We'll be right back. All right, so I got my screw in right, right here. Jules is down there holding up her end. Seth's gonna screw it in. All right, guys, you did it, Dan. We got the first one up there. Cool. What do you think of that? I like it. We made a little mistake in our measurement, so we actually had to paint two new boards. We're going to take this board off and add one of these new boards over here. It was just a hair too short. Right, Marty? That's right. Thankfully, we had a couple of two by sixes just laying around that we could paint up and use. <laughs> yeah, they're actually brand new boards. Two not... by eights, actually. Yeah, brand new boards. I'm not sure why we actually had them, but they were in the garage. Perfect timing. All right, check it out, fascia. Oh, it looks like it belongs there, guys. Except for this part, we gotta cut that off. So we're gonna go ahead and go up there, nail it, and then cut it off at an angle so that it matches the fascia here. Get it all cleaned up, paint the end where we cut it, and it should be good to go. All right, so let me let me share with you a little bit about how good of a job we did. Are you ready? <laughs> all right, we measured this side, the east side for the fascia, right from the existing house all the way out to the south gable end fascia 190 inches 190 and three quarters of an inch like all right how are we going to do on this side guess what it is exactly the same 190 <laughs> and three quarter inches for this side of the fascia until it butts up to the gable end fascia we have to celebrate yeah these victories <laughs> i think that's pretty good i mean we put up all those trusses that means you know it's just like it's perfect. I like it. There's so many things that could go wrong. So yeah, the east is done and up and we painted at the tips over here. So we're working on the west right now. We got the east and the west nailed off and now we need to do the south side fascia. So Marty is up at the peak right now. I think it looks beautiful, babe. Thank you. You look beautiful and the facial looks beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be handsome though, not beautiful. Well, you implied you were beautiful. I think it looks great. Yeah. We got the corners cut off and then we painted the tips there. Just got a few more nails to go. Awesome. And look at the sky. Woo. Yeah. It's blue skies today. And clear air. Yep, clear air. Next step is putting up all of the sheathing, underlayment, and then getting ready to put the metal on the roof. Well, that's going to have to happen in the next video. If you want to go all the way back to the beginning, to when we were living in tents, freezing in the cold, there is a video right up here you can go ahead and check out. Or we picked out this video right down here for you. We hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling.